morning and welcome to our morning prayer from Crowhurst Christian Healing Centre. My name is Pamela Vale Taylor and I am one of the volunteer chaplaincy team at Crowhurst. The theme of our service today is our Creator God. Just a reminder that you may wish to use the pause button to take time during the service for your own personal prayers as the Holy Spirit leads you. So let's just come into the presence of our loving God. We read these words from Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And further from Psalm 104, he set the earth on its foundations. It can never be moved. He covered it with the watery depths as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. How many are your works, Lord? In wisdom you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea, vast and spacious, teeming with creatures beyond number, living things, both large and small. And so let's come to prayer. Father God, in this world where mankind tends to think of itself to be so powerful, we acknowledge this morning that all power is yours over all that you have created. You are our eternal Father and Creator, because nothing in our universe was created without you, and everything was created by your love. All of creation came into being through the Holy Spirit, and everything is still sustained by your divine nature, your love, and your purpose through the work of the Holy Spirit. Your love for us is so vast that we can scarcely begin to take it in. Thank you, Father, for all of your gifts to us. Amen. And we proclaim you are worthy, our Lord God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. And we give thanks. Yours, Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendour. For everything in heaven and earth is yours. Yours, Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. And now... Our God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. As we pause at this time in our day, we thank and praise you, Father, for your great and marvellous works that we see around us and experience in our own lives. We thank you for all of your creation across the world and especially in our own environment. We thank you that we are each one of us created by, in love by your own hands and that we are all a planned and chosen part of your creation. Amen. How blessed is God and what a blessing is he. He is the father of our master, Jesus Christ, and takes us to the high places of blessing in him. Long before he laid down earth's foundations, he had us in his mind, had settled on us as the focus of his love, to be made whole and holy by his love. And so we pray. Father, forgive us for trying to turn your work in creation to our own selfish advantage.
and for failing to accept and love and serve each other as we are created to be in love by you. Father, in your mercy, forgive us. We receive your mercy, your forgiveness, and your release. Thank you. Amen. We intercede for our world, for our loved ones, and for ourselves. We pray for the healing and restoring of your creation, Father God which we have so selfishly destroyed without thought. Renew and restore your creation, we pray. We pray too for all of those across the world and for those known to us personally who are unwell or suffering at this time. We would ask for your healing touch and your deep peace for each one, Father. And we remember too, those who care for them. We pray for those who work to bring unity, justice and peace across the world. Be their way maker, Father. Open the right doors for them and give them the right words to say. We pray these prayers in Jesus' precious name. Amen. A promise for us today. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. And so may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift his face towards you and give you peace. So as you go about your day today, may you be aware of the Lord's presence and guidance in your lives. And may you be a blessing to someone today. And I look forward to seeing you later for evening prayer.